biotelemetry. Biotelemetry is the measurement of biological parameters over long distance. So biotelemetry is nothing but measurement of biological parameters over a long distance. For, for conveying the biological information from a living organism to the different location, this can be recorded. For recording, this can be used as the radio frequency signal as a carrier for modulation. So it is referred to as the radio telemetry. So biotelemetry is nothing but the measurement of biological parameters over a long distance. Next, elements of biotelemetry. So what are the elements uh, can be used to for? Biotelemetry means biological signal, transducer, amplifier and output unit. The output unit should be CRO. This, uh, this is the display the output signal. So in this, the elements of biotelemetry consist of biological signal. So here to measure ECG, EEG, EMG, two electrodes are used. So here to measure the ECG, EEG, EMG, the electrodes are used. So measure the temperature, thermistors are used. For measure the BP, that means the blood pressure, strain gauge is used. So in here, the biological signal that is ECG, EEG, we can use the electrodes for measuring the ECG EEG signal. So this ECG and EEG signal is connected to the transducer. So transducer is nothing but converting the one form of energy to another form of energy. So here in this transducer can be used to biological signal to electrical signal. So the output of electrical signal is connected to amplifier and filter. So here the amplifier and filter at the, at the conditioner, this signal can be amplified and then unwanted signal will, will be dis, uh, removed by using this filter. So this amplified signal is connected to the output through transmission channel. So the output unit uh, that be CRO that, uh, that is the signal, the biological signal will be recorded and display the output unit. Okay. So this is the basic elements of biotelemetry system. So to measure ECG, EEG, EMG signal, we can use the electrodes. So the output of biological signal should be biological signal that will be connected to the transducer. So transducer is nothing but it convert the biological signal to electrical signal. So this electrical signal will be amplified and filtered at the conditioner. So this um, will be connected to the transmission channel. Uh, the amplified signal is connected to the output unit through transmission channel. So the output display the output video recorded. So tape recorded the signal that is biological signal. Next one. For measuring ECG, EEG, EMG, the electrodes act as a transducer. For measuring temperatures, thermistor is used as transducer. For measuring blood pressure, strain cage is used as a transducer. For measuring stomach pH, glass electrode is used as transistor. We know that the function of transducer, it convert the one form of energy to another form. So here, here transistor act as a convert biological signal to electrical signal. So this is the measurement of biological signal. Here this electrode, here for measuring ECG, EEG, EMG means here transducer act as a, electrodes act as a transducer. For measuring temperatures, thermistor is used as a transducer. For measuring blood pressure, strain cage is used as transducer. For measuring stomach pH, glass electrode is used as transducer. Next one, design of biotelemetry. We know that biotelemetry means measurement of biological parameters over a long distance. So in this, the telemetry system should be selected to transmit the biological signal with the maximum fidelity and simplicity. 
so this system should not affect the leaving system by any interference so interference is nothing but some loss or error noise okay so this system should not affect the leaving system by any interference so this will be this limited system will be small in size and light in weight fourth it should have more stability and reliability fifth point the power consumption at the transmitter and the receiver should be small so power consumption and at the transmitter receiver should be small the system should reject common mode interference rejection that is high cmmr that is common mode rejection ratio cmrr so it can be provided to the system by using the differential amplifier so the miniature radio telemetry system should be used to, to reduce noise so here the miniature radio telemetry system can be used to reduce the noise so design of bio telemetry so we need the transmit the bioelectrical signal with maximum fidelity and simplicity the small size and light in weight it have more stability and reliability the power consumption also small and cmmr also small and this uh, miniature radio telemetry system should be used to, to reduce the noise this is the design of bio telemetry next one radio telemetry system so i already said that for transmitting the signal we are used the radio frequency as a carrier for modulation so that is called radio telemetry system so here the telemetry system involves radio transmission and reception of biological signal so here in this used to see two types of telemetry system one is single channel telemetry system multi channel telemetry system so here radio telemetry system the telemetry system involves radio transmission and reception of biological signal so this can be involved two telemetry system single channel telemetry system multi channel telemetry system so first this is the block diagram of single channel telemetry system so here this block diagram consists of transmitter and receiver so here transmitting antenna and receiving antenna so here the transmitter side it consists of biological signal is connected to the input of amplitude modulators so in transmitter side consists of two modulator one is amplitude modulator and frequency modulator so amplitude modulator consists of two input that is biological signal and 20 kilohertz carrier frequency so this two biological signal and carrier frequency can be modulated by using the amplitude modulator so the output of amplitude modulator is connected to the frequency modulator so the also frequency modulator also have the income from carrier frequency so the carrier frequency value 100 megahertz so 100 megahertz carrier frequency is connected to the input of frequency modulator so the frequency modulator can be modulated by uh, can be modulated the carrier frequency and amplitude modulating signal and produce the output and get connected to this amplifier so we know that function of amplifier so if the incoming signal should be very weak signal means the amplifier can be used to, to boost up the signal so this amplifier signal is connected to the transmitter so this is the transmitter side of the single channel bio telemetry system at the receiver side the receiving antenna receive the signal from transmitting antenna so the received signal is connected to the demodulator after that modulation that signal it should be demodulated by using the demodulator block so the demodulator output is connected to the filter so if a unwanted signal is present means the filter can be removed that unwanted signal and connected to the input of amplifier so the received signal it should be if a very weak signal means the amplifier can be used to, to boost up the signal and connected to the additional demodulator so this modulated signal is again demodulated and produce the output in display unit so the display it should be recorded or display the biological signal that is original output okay so this is the single channel telemetry system 
So single channel telemetry system consists of two blocks, transmitter side and receiving side. In transmitter side, the biological signal is connected to amplitude modulator and carrier 20 kilohertz carrier frequency also connected to amplitude modulator. So this amplitude modulator can be modulated and connected to the output of frequency modulator. So the output of frequency modulator is connected to the amplifier and then to the transmitter. So in receiver side, the receiver can be received the signal from transmitting antenna and is connected to the demodulator and then filter. Filtered output can be amplified and uh, amplified signal to the demodulator and finally display the output. So this is the single channel telemetry system. Next one, multi-channel telemetry system. In this multi-channel telemetry system, it consists of frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing system. So in this, this is the frequency division multiplexing signal. So in here, in this plug first consists of transmitting side, here three input signal is connected to the amplifier. So this transmitter side and receiver side consists of subcarrier system. So this subcarrier system can be used to far to affect the loading system. That is loading effect can be affected by the system. This subcarrier can be eliminate this loading. So this the input signal is connected to the amplifier. So this signal is amplified the signal and connected to the subcarrier FM. So this subcarrier can be affect that is eliminate the loading effect and produce the frequency signal based on this three input signal. So it will be connected to the FM transmitter. So in the receiver side, the receiving antenna FM receiver uh, collect the signal from transmitting antenna and connected to the bandpass filter that is BPF. So BPF can be separate can be used to separate the frequency signal from FM demodulator. So this frequency signal could be connected to the subcarrier demodulator. This subcarrier can be used to, to demodulate the frequency signal and is connected to the low pass filter. So this low pass filter can be used to, to separate the frequency output signal. So that is low frequency signal that is output signal 1, output signal 2, output signal 3. So this is the frequency division multiplexing. Oh, so here consists of transmitting antenna and receiving antenna. So in transmitter side, subcarrier system can be used to, used to, to avoid the loading effect. So here the input signal 1, 2, 3 is connected to the amplifier 1 and 2, 3. So this will be amplified the input signal and connected to the subcarrier FM. So this subcarrier F1 can be produce the frequency of F1, F2, F3. They will be connected to the F1 transmitter. So on the output of F1 transmitter is connected to the F1 demodulator from the transmitting antenna. So this F1 demodulated signal is connected to the bandpass filter. So the bandpass filter can be used to separate the frequency signal from the demodulator output. So this will be connected to the subcarrier demodulator can be used to, to avoid the loading effect from the demodulator signal. So this will be connected to the low pass filter. We know the function of low pass filter. It allows only low frequency signal and reject the high frequency signal. So the output it should be low frequency signal. So the output uh, are output signal 1, 2, 3. That is the original signal. So this is the explanation of frequency division multiplexing that is uh, telemetry system multiplexing multi channel telemetry system so next one time division multiplexing so this is the block diagram of time division multiplexing signal so here the input signal 1 2 3 is connected to the amplifier so in time division multiplexing it also consists of k terminal so here the gate can be used to, to generate the signal T1, T2, T3. So this is uh, operated in the clockwise direction. That is uh, one signal is uh, generated means 
the clock is completed and another signal will be started. So this the output will be connected to the FM transmitter. In receiver side this is the opposite, opposite uh, process of the transmitter. So the receiver can be get the signal from the transmitting antenna and it will be connected to the gate. So the gate can be used to generate the signal and connected to the low pass filter. So we know the function of low pass filter that is it allows only low frequency signal and reject the high frequency signal. So the output of gate that means the generated signal can be connected to the low pass filter and produce the output signal 1, output signal 2, output signal 3. So here I, uh, we give the input signal 3 and, and also get the output signal 3 signal. Okay, so this is the time division multiplexing system. Next one, this frequency signal. So this is the scanning frequency can be calculated by F scan greater than or equal to 2 FM max. That is 2 maximum signal frequency into 2. So scanning frequency greater than 2 maximum signal frequency. So the scanning frequency should be at least greater than twice the maximum signal frequency. So the maximum number of channel N is equal to capital N divided by small t n. So capital N is nothing but scanning period. Small n is nothing but sampling time of each channel. So this is the scanning frequency calculation. So F scan greater than 2 F max. So scanning frequency greater than 2 maximum signal frequency. So the scanning frequency should be at least greater than twice the maximum signal frequency. So the maximum number of channels n is equal to capital T n divided by small t n is equal to scanning period sampling time of each signal. Next one. Advantages of biotelemetry system. So this advantages of biotelemetry system it is used to, to record the biological signal over the long period and while the patient is engaged in this normal activities. This is the first advantages of biotelemetry. The medical attendant or computer can easily diagnose the nature of disease by seeing the telemeter biologicals that is biosignals without attending patient room. This is the second advantages of biotelemetry. Third one the patient is not disturbed during recording. So during the record the biological information the patient is not disturbed. So next for future reference or to study the treatment effect the biotelemetry is the essential one. So these are the advantages of biotelemetry system. So generally the biotelemetry system is nothing but measurement of biological information that is biological parameters from over a long distance from human bodies that is the biotelemetry. So during the record, record the biological information the patient is not disturbed. So future reference a study the treatment of the biotelemetry is the essential one. This is the biotelemetry system. So biotelemetry system consists of two types of biotelemetry system single channel and multi channel. So based on the single channel multi channel we need the subcarrier system. So in single channel telemetry system subcarrier system can be used to, to eliminate the loading effect of the signal. So this is the explanation of biotelemetry system.